Hello, day traders. The growth of the U.S. stock indices resumed last week. Moreover, they closed higher every trading session. The U.S. dollar index also rose in a week, but much less than stock prices. The ISM Manufacturing Index for November came out on Monday, which advanced 2.4% to 57.2, having exceeded expectations. This pushed the U.S. stock prices up. However, the U.S. dollar index fell as the euro strengthened. At the referendum held on Sunday in Italy, it was decided to keep the constitution unchanged. In Austria, the right-wing party's candidate, the supporter of leaving the EU, lost the presidential elections. All these significantly decreased political risks in Europe and contributed to the strengthening of the euro. On Tuesday, both US stocks and currency markets were on the rise on positive economic data. The factory orders and durable goods orders exceeded the forecasts. On Wednesday, no significant economic data came out in the US and the dollar index dropped, while the stock prices continued to advance. On Tuesday, no data came out either. However, the US dollar strengthened against the euro. At its regular meeting, the ECB extended its asset buying program till December 2017. Earlier, it was scheduled to end in March. Since next April, the monthly asset purchases will be reduced from 80 billion euros to 60 billion, but the ECB may increase it again if needed. Let's recall that the European QE program is carried out by means of money printing. Its extension weakened the euro while the US dollar, on the contrary, strengthened. The ECB plans to continue money printing and thus to stimulate the growth of the European economy had quite positive impact on the European stock indices. The increase markedly, which also contributed to a similar trend all over the world, including the US. On Friday, the U.S. stock market continued rising. The main indices updated their historic highs. The latest economic data were better than expected. Particularly, the University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index reached in December the maximum since January 2015. Additional positive factor was the lower wholesale inventories in October. The US stock dollar index, uh, index rose as the euro continued weakening in the aftermath of the ECB meeting. The key event of this week will be the next Fed meeting on Wednesday, December 14, 2016, with a 95% possibility the rate will be increased by 0.25%. On the same day, the retail sales, producer price index and industrial production data will be released in the US. The Inflation Market Manufacturing PMI will come out on Thursday. The U.S. real estate market data will come out on Friday. Happy trading. See you next week. Bye.